There's a place in your heart, and I know that it is love. This place is much better than tomorrow. And if you. place you felt there is no hurt or sorrow there are ways to get there if you care enough for the living make a better space make a better place you want to know why there's a love that cannot lie love is strong it only cares for joyful giving if we try we shall see in this place we cannot feel then it feels it always love's enough for us growing so make a better world, make a better world, make the world, make it a better place, for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying, if you care enough for your living, make a better place for you. The world we once believed in will shine again in grace. Then why do we keep strong life when this earth crucified its soul? Though it's plain to see this world is heavenly, big as clothes. We could fly so high, let our spirits never die. In my heart, I feel you are all my brothers. With no fear, together we cry happy tears. See the nations turn their swords into plowshares. We could really get there if we care enough for the living. Make a little space to make a better place. Do you see the world? You and for me, you and for 
Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Okay, sorry about that. So again, welcome to our uh, sixth webinar on uh, problem-based learning. The topic for today is problem-based learning. So before we start, uh, I'd like to uh, give uh, to, to give my regards to everyone. I hope you are all doing fine and everybody is safe and uh, enjoying your work from home. Uh, I know the advisors are all uh, very busy today because you are trying to call uh, your uh, students. Um, in preparation for the tablet that will be given to them by our city government. So please uh, do so and um, 
the students that you will be contacting will be the presently enrolled students, not the previous year. Eh? So I would just like to make that correction because, you know, actually what happened was yesterday, uh, the after our Manco meeting, uh, there, the, uh, there was a new memo that was uh, given to the field. So we have to change uh, the instructions. But uh, sanay naman tayo dyan. Sa pabago-bagong instructions, uh, we would just need to be flexible and we would just need to follow the guidelines. So good news to all the teachers, all the head teachers, uh, admin, uh, you will also be included in the list of recipients for laptops and uh, monthly internet load of 10 gigabytes each. Okay, so our students will also be receiving uh, one tablet per household and then uh, they will be receiving uh, internet load as well. Uh, maximum of 10 gigabytes per month. So yun lang po yung uh, commitment sa atin ng ating city government. Uh, and that will be exclusively used for uh, online and blended learning. Okay, so hindi po yun sa mga kabataan at mga mag-aaral na nakikinig sa atin po ngayon. I'm sorry to say, hindi po yun para sa inyong uh, mobile legend ha? at hindi yun para sa pag-Facebook. Uh, most of the features of the social media na hindi naman kailangan sa pag-aaral ay hindi po i-activate uh, doon sa tablet na yon. Um, yung YouTube is only good for uh, educational purposes. That's why meron din tayo YouTube channel. So I again, let me request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel kasi dyan po ipapadala ang mga video lessons ng inyong mga guro. Okay? So, marami na pong mga instructions na naglalabasan. Uh, basta kapit lang po tayo at uh, just filter out the correct information. Huwag po tayong maniwala sa mga fake news at uh, make ourselves uh, always uh, uh, following the PCCHS uh, Manila Online Bulletin Board kasi dun, yun lang po talaga ang ating source of uh, correct information. So pag hindi ko po pinopost doon, that means hindi po official po yun ha. So yun po ang ating usapan. Uh, don't be misled. We have uh, also launched our Bigada Eskwela 2020. So sa lahat po ng mga magulang at ng mga mag-aaral na nakikinig sa atin ngayon sa YouTube Live at nanonood ng atin pong presentasyon ngayon, uh, pwede na po kayong mag-umpisa mag-donate ng mga uh, PPE, personal protective equipment, uh, mga disinfection materials like alcohol, sanitation uh, materials like uh, alcohol, Clorox, sabon, etc., etc., even mga face masks para po magamit ng ating mga guro at mga mag-aaral sa pasukan. Okay, so hindi po muna tayo mag-aalaw ng paglilinis na pupunta ang mga magulang doon physically. At uh, pwede pa rin naman po magbigay ng mga cleaning materials but ang preferred po natin based on the DepEd guidelines for Brigada Eskwela ay yung mga COVID-19 essentials. So maraming salamat po in advance para doon sa ating mga magdodonate ng mga magulang. Okay, meron din po tayong niluluto o pinag-iisipan na magandang um, uh, promotion para sa lahat ng ating magiging donor. So watch out na lang po sa ating mga susunod na announcement. So kapag ka po nag-donate sa Brigada Eskwela, meron po tayo ibibigay ng magandang souvenir item na magagamit ninyo ngayong pandemic. Okay? Um, para po sa kaalaman ng lahat, mag-ready na po ang mga curriculum chair at ang ibang mga guro dahil uh, sa oras na ito, katitext lamang po ni Ma'am Indaktivo, Parating na po sa ating school ang uh, mga food packs and hygiene kits na i-distribute natin sa ating mga estudyante. So gagawa po tayo. Uh, I hope nakita ninyo yung mga guidelines na pinost ko doon sa online bulletin board. No ID, no food packs. Okay, kaya yung mga estudyante na 
walang mga ID, I'm so sorry kasi yun lang magiging basihan natin para dito. So meron din nakalagay sa online bulletin board na paraan kung paano makakakuha ng panibagong replacement ID. So susunod ko natin yun. Um, so uh, wala pa po tayong schedule. Kailan magpapapunta ng mga magulang? Inuulit ko, magulang lamang ang pwede kumuha ng food pack kasi bawal pang lumabas because of the GCQ ang mga kabataan 21 years old pababa. So magulang lamang ang pwedeng pumunta sa school kapag nag-schedule na po tayo. So sa ngayon, wala pa po. At uh, itatago po muna natin ang ating mga food packs sa isang safe na place. Okay? So ngayong umaga ay uh, pag-uumpisa na po tayo sa ating pong, uh, webinar. Again, ang ating pong, uh, topic is about problem-based learning. Ano nga po ba yung problem-based learning at paano po ba natin ito magagamit sa ating pong pagtuturo? At ano rin po ang uh, magagawa nito, paano rin po natin magagamit ang problem-based learning sa panahon ngayon kung saan ang hinahanap po ng ating mga uh, mag-aaral at ang ating pamahalaan ay blended learning. So ito po ang mga i-discuss po natin at ito po ay isang strategiya kung saan ma-promote natin ang critical thinking sa ating pong mga kabataan. Okay, so uh, sa umagang ito, napakaswerte po natin dahil isa sa ating magagaling at masisipag na master teacher na talagang masipag magduro ng mathematics at research sa senior high school ang ating po magiging speaker for today. Dati po po ninyo siyang kasama sa junior high uh, bilang math teacher at ngayon siya po ay naninibihan sa atin sa senior high school at talaga namang uh, napakalaking tulong niya from the things sa uh, practical research at sa karista research ng mga senior high school students. So without much further ado, nice kong ibigay sa inyo ang ating pong speaker ngayong umaga. Walang iba kundi si Engineer Daisy Orsine. Good morning, Ma'am Daisy. Hello po, Sir Manny. Good morning po. Good morning po, Ma'am. I hope you are doing well. Kamusta po kayo? Okay lang po, Sir. Okay, so sana po hindi po kayo kinakabahan. <laughs> okay, so enjoy, enjoy lang. Enjoy, enjoy lang po tayo. At nandito na po ang ating mga co-teachers na nanonood po sa atin ngayon. So go ahead at tayo po ay uh, mag-uumpisa na po. So take it away. Ako po ay mag-close muna na aking video para kayo naman po ang makita sa screen. Marami pong salamat and good luck. Okay po sir, thank you po. Okay, go ahead, ma'am. Hello everyone. Good morning again po sa lahat. Welcome. Daisy Orsini is here, your speaker for today's webinar entitled Problem-Based Learning. Before we start po with our main topic, please get a pen and paper for a short game. Maglalaro po muna tayo. May prize naman po ito. And may I request Sir Manny po to help me with this game in identifying po the winner. Okay po ma'am, naka-standby po ako. You are going to look for 10 words from the letter grid that I am going to show here in the next slide. For five minutes po, you are going to list 10 words. I will give 200 pesos worth of SM gift check to the winner. Ito po yung gift check. Dalawa po yan. 100 
each. It is good only for 5 minutes. Kung tapos na po kayo on or before 5 minutes, please write in the comment box first. Kung ikaw po yung nauna, then list the 10 words. Then if you are po the second, write in the comment box second, then list the 10 words. Aim po with the third. Hanggang third po kasi baka may kulang or mali sa first and second, then the third will be declared the start po.
po. Let's check okay, your time board. Is up. Okay, I think we have a winner. Okay, so ang unang-una po na nagpadala ng kanyang sagot, ma'am, paki-double check niyo po sa inyong listahan kung tama yung mga words na binigay niya. So, Mr. Okay, Arturo, po. Mr. Arturo Roda, our newest senior high school teacher na tingin, tingin ko hindi niyo pa nami-meet. Ito ang uh, tingnan niyo po, ito po ang mga sagot niya. Number one, love. I wait po, sir, if a flash ko po sa screen ang tamang sagot. Sige po. Okay. okay. Ang mga words na hinahanap po natin ay ang mga sumusunod. One okay. is engaging. In ba -ba -ba babasahin ko rin po, po ma'am. Babasahin ko rin po. Okay. O oh, sige po. Engaging. Okay. Problem. Okay. Love. Confident. Okay. Learning. Okay. Active. Creative. Discipline. Collaborative. And the last word is persistent. Lahat okay. po ba na nandiyan yung 10? Uh, ma'am, check nyo po. Ito po yung mga words na nilagay niya. Love. Meron As, po ba? Uh, uh, meron po. Motivation. Ay, wala po. Sorry. Wala. Okay, so mali na agad. Okay, next Opo. na po tayo. Sa Ma'am Lisa Puri, ang sumunod po na nag-post. Relative. Meron po ba? Wala pong relative. Creative and okay. active po ang nandiyan. Okay. Oh, so, sorry po. Next po, Arnie Barbosa. Self-love. Meron po ba? Love lang po. Walang self. Ah, okay. So, mali din po. Sorry po. Uh, next po, si Ma Maria Salvador. May learning po ba? Meron po. Problem. Meron po. Love. Meron po. Persistent. Meron po. Confident. Meron po. Engaging. Meron po. Collaboration. Collaborative. Oh, sayang. So it should be collaborative. Okay, next po tayo. Sayang, naka seven words na po sana siya. O sige po. Oo nga, sayang, sayang. Ah, uh, ito naman si Ma'am Gina Balkulang. 1 2 3 4 5 lang po. So, I will pass this na po. So, okay po. Ma Ma'am Javier, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. 8 lang. So, hindi rin po. Okay. Okay, then again, meron pa pong pangalawang entry si Ma'am Salvador kasi po ito po yung sunod-sunod na lumabas. No? So, learning, problem, love, persistent, confident, engaging, collaborative, discipline, Apo. inspired, Apo. and motivation. Meron po bang motivation? Ay, wala pong inspired. Apo. Wala pong inspired, wala din inspired. and okay, motivation. So, okay. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> talaga, Ma'am Salvador. Okay, tingnan naman natin kay Ma'am Raquel Laurenciana. Problem, meron? Meron po. Engaging? Meron. Collaborative? Meron po. Confident? Meron po. Learning? Meron po. Love? Meron po. Happy? Mer ano po? Please Happy. Repeat. Happy. Ay, sorry po. Wala pong happy. Wala. <laughs> okay, so wala din po. So, sorry po. Uh, punta tayo sa susunod. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ako, 9 lang din. Sorry, Sir Ryan. 9 lang. Uh, Ma'am Puri, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, tignan po natin ito kay Ma'am Puri. Confident? Opo. Opo. Love? Opo. Motivation. Ay, sorry po. Wala motivation. Wala talaga. Okay. So, next na po ulit tayo. Ma'am Kathleen Guerrero. Self-care. Meron ba? Wala po. Okay. Next. Si Sir Blue Zircon. Sino ba itong Blue Zircon? Engaging. Meron po. Collaborative. Meron. Disciplined. Meron po. Creative. Meron po. Active? Meron po. Organize? Ay, sorry po. Wala pong organize. Wala. <laughs> Kasi po ang organize dyan ay 
panggulo lang po, kulang ng ah. A ang organize. Okay, okay, panggulo lang daw po yan. Sorry po. O, ito si Sir Danilo Abaya naman. Tingnan natin. Engaging Opo. problem. Meron po. Confident. Opo. Love. Meron po. Collaborative. Meron po. Persistent. Meron po. Learning. Meron po. Active. Meron po. Disciplined. Meron po. Isa na lang. Creative. Meron po. Complete. Yun, Mr. Danilo Abaya. Congratulations. Congratulations the po. Ito po ang iyong gift check. Ayan po. O, oh, ibibigay yan. ko Sige po yan sa iyo. Mr. Sa Danilo ma Abaya. Okay, pakitake note na lang po ha, ma'am. Opo, so, Danilo again. Abaya. Okay, okay. Po. Sige po. So, next po tayo, ma'am Supetran. Try po natin ulit. Problem. Ay, sir. Isa lang po ang winner. Ay, isa lang ba? <laughs> Dalawa Opo. na agad. Okay, okay. So, yun Kasi tig, tig 100 pesos po ito. Ah, okay. So, 200 pesos okay. na talaga ang makukaw. Wow, swerte Opo. naman ni Ma'am si Sir Danilo Abaya. Okay, okay congratulations, po. sir. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay na po. Okay, let's start now po with our main topic. I pray that today we learn the following. Number one, what is the definition of problem-based learning? Number two, what is the historical background of problem-based learning? Number three, what are the characteristics of problem in problem-based learning? Number four, how is the PBL process? Number five, what are the examples of procedures using problem-based learning? In the last poll, number six, what are the advantages and disadvantages of problem-based learning? I hope po that after this webinar, dear teachers, you will be able to decide what kind of methodology or teaching strategy you are going to adopt in this upcoming school year. Especially po that we are in this uh, pandemic, na start po tayo sa pandemic na COVID-19. Oh, as educators, we know the importance of what we are teaching. But the students may not necessarily be aware of this. Kaya po, minsan, may mga estudyante po tayo na, nanatu na natutulog po sa ating klase. It's up to us po, teachers, to teach, to teach them how to do something and why to do something. Ano po natin ito gagawin, their teachers? How do we motivate learners to realize that what we teach them are useful to them? That it will give them employment, money, and important things later in life. How do we inspire them to think out of the box and solve problems creatively? As do we as educators find a way to share to students that what they are learning has value and meaning? Can we apply to the real world and can be engaging to them? We can do this with using the method problem-based learning or PBL. What is problem-based learning? According to Stanford University, problem-based learning is a teaching strategy where students work with classmates to solve complex and authentic problems that develop content knowledge, as well as problem solving, reasoning, communication, and assessment skills. With this technique, students learn that the skills they are learning are necessary for their fields of study and later in life. This helps boost them their interest in what they are being taught. Overall, this is a technique 
first students learn by doing. They will be able to solve complex and open-ended problems that have meaning to them, which makes the class more engaging than the typical classroom lecture. What is the historical background of BPA? Problem-based learning was created for, by Howard Barrows noong 1986 as an instructional method in medical school to prepare students in their educational experiences for real world problems of practicing doctor. Consequently, they began using problem-based learning environments to examine, diagnose, and solve real world patient problems. The students work and team and designed a medical practitioner who act as facilitator. It has become popular for its clear benefits for students to engage in real experiences. Opo, ito ay unang ginamit sa medical field, pero po later on sa lahat na po ng fields or professions. Sino po si Howard Barrows, ang creator ng problem-based learning. Si Howard Barrows po ay isang American physician and medical educator, naging professor emeritus sa Southern Illinois University School of Medicine at naging dean po siya for educational affairs and chair of medical education. Sa ngayon po, he is best known for his many innovations in medical education, particularly teaching using problem-based learning. Siya po ay isinilang noong March 28 at namatay din po noong March 2011 sa edad na 83. According to Professor David Kwan, Learning must be relevant to learners' objectives in order to be effective and efficient. It is important for the problem or activity to be relatable. In order for the learning to occur, according to him, it should be active, integrated, and constructive process which is influenced both by contextual and social factors. What does this constructive process mean? PPL po as originated by Chan Dewey in uh, 1897 in his constructivism theory. Naniniwala po si Dewey na ang edukasyon ay isang tool for solving problems in real life. Na dapat may connection ang itinuturo sa school at sa real life at ang theory and practice. For example po, sa grade 11 ay may subject na business mathematics at itinuturo po doon ang pag-compute o pag-solve ng simple interest and compound interest. If the teachers po, ang mga examples niya ay interest in dollars and interest used in some banks, uh, mahirapan pong makarelate ang ating mga students. Pero po, kung ang example ng teachers ay yung nakikita nila sa community tulad po ng 5-6 na ginagawa po ng mga bumbay at kung ang interest po ay in pesos, makaka-relate po ang ating mga students. Let's move on po to the characteristics of PBA. Problem-based learning is collaborative. Meaning po, sa ating klase, tayo ay mag-create ng groups and it will develop teamwork in our learners. Problem-based learning follows a procedure or 
uh, there should be a rule in the classroom. And problem-based learning has research or sources of information. It can be in the internet or in the library or ito po ay pwedeng interviews from experts in their problem. Experts in their problem. Resource persons, experts in their problem. Then we have po the problem characteristic. The problem is considered ill-structured or an open-ended problem or question, and it has many or different solutions. Problem-based learning po is authentic learning, meaning it deals with real-life learning scenarios or experiences. Problem-based learning is self-directed. It caters to the individual learning needs. And problem-based learning po has learner responsibilities. They have their roles and individual tasks in a group. And finally po, problem-based learning has outcomes. It can be a written report, an oral presentation, and now po we have the digital presentation. Basic concept of problem-based learning. Dapat po, the problem ay alam or identified ng learner. Ito po yung mga key issues. Ito po yung kung ano ang ipinagagawa sa learner. Then we have the knowledge. The knowledge consists of the learner's prior knowledge na relevant sa problem nila. At yung new knowledge po na kailangan nila in order to solve the problem. Then next, we have the resources. Paano po ang learner maghahanap ng kailangan niyang resources na pwede niyang i-consult? Like books, articles, reports, websites, and people na experts sa problem. It can either be in the library or in the internet. Then we have the solution. Remember po that there is no correct or wrong solution to real-life problems. All solutions will have their disadvantages and advantages. Let us come po to the process of PPA. It's still in congruence with the concept of we have for the problem, then we have to list the known facts. These are the prior knowledge for known facts. Relevant for the problem, then we have to list the unknowns or this is the new knowledge needed to acquire or to solve the problem. Alongside with the research, the unknowns, by gathering the resources like books, articles, websites, videos, this can be found in the internet or in the library or both. Then we come up with possible solutions. We generate possible solutions. Then we choose among the solution the most viable. Then we report the solution. Another process for of BBL, which is the same as the previous one we have discussed. In this PBL process, the teacher or facilitator provides guidance and direction in the group's discussion and clarify the student-generated learning issues. Ito po sa process na to, ang nadagdag ay yung role ng teacher or facilitator or the teacher's role here is emphasized. Let's move on po to the characteristics of problem in problem-based learning. Ang tawag po sa problem ng problem-based learning ay ill-defined or ill-structured problem. Ito po ay complex problem in real life. 
na kung saan po ang mga learners can encounter many ways to solve the problem habang nagdidiskus sila sa kanilang grupo. Maaaring din nila alam sa simula ang lahat ng information na kailangan nila. Pero sila po ay magre-research for more information to solve it. This is according po to Stephen and Gallagher noong 1990. The problem should create more multiple solutions or different solution paths. Meaning, there is no right or wrong answers or create a wrong way of finding the answer. The more broad and general the problem, the better. The problem must be open-ended and difficult enough to have students collaborate with one another. If the question is too simple, students will not be motivated to solve it. If the question is too difficult, some students will give up and only part of the class will experience the learning process. Let us have for some examples of activities using problem-based learning. Isa po dito ang may title na The Silent Beach. The problem is making soundtrack for the short video. Ang process po, they have to research, investigate, to come up with a solution or output. Ito po ang paglagay ng mga dialogues. Music, I thought, a title po sa music video. Maybe the video is 10 minutes or less. Panonoorin po ng mga bata, then they will interpret what is going on in the silent video. Then ito na po ang pagkakataon nila na maging creative to add music, dialogues, and title. Ito po ay ginagawa ng grade 11 students sa empowerment technology subject nila. Sometimes po, they are asked to create movie trailers as project. Another example po, I am web design making. Ito naman po ay ginagawa ng mga grade 12 ICT students. The problem is making a website magazine about their school. Process po, they are going to research. Maybe they can uh, consult YouTube on how to do it. They have to research the internet or the library or ask ICT teachers as experts in the problem to come up with a solution po or output. The students po must gain valuable knowledge in web servers, web designs, and linguistic. Ngayon po, do we know the best part of it? It can be implemented in almost any subjects, especially at the college or senior high school level. This technique is most often used in the medical school, where students learn when dealing with scenarios. However, for this technique, it is also used in education, business, psychology, dentistry, engineering, law, music, architecture, and the list just keeps going. PPL4 encourages deep learning. It makes students use what they already know and build them up, not just recall information, but give content that is real and applicable to the real world. It generates both interest and controversy, which causes students to ask questions with each other and to discuss. Then, PBL4 wants to create learning objectives. It helps students by creating a list of their tasks to complete. This step is especially helpful with complex scenarios because students 
can delegate and take on various roles and have individual tasks to complete. Ito po pumapasok ang learners' responsibilities. The students are in charge of their own roles in the group's activities. PPL asks students to work collaboratively with their One of the objectives of problem-based learning is that students go through a process called self-directed learning. When the students take their own initiative and feels that they are the one in charge of their own learning, this helps the student become self-sufficient and helps them prepare for lifelong learning. Study shows students who become self Self-directed learners are independent, willing to take initiative, persistent in learning, self-disciplined, self-confident, organized in time of time and work, able to develop a completion plan, goal-oriented, and self-motivated to learn as much as they can. If this were traditional classroom, the teacher is the center of instruction and guidance. However, in problem-based learning, students are the center and the role of the teacher changes to a facilitator, tutor, or cognitive coach. It is the teacher's role to guide exploration, provide feedback and create a classroom environment that would encourage collaboration. Most importantly, the teacher must encourage students to think for themselves and become self-directed learners. And mistakes po are bound to happen. Okay lang po, po yun, are learning opportunities. Mistake don't represent a lack of ability. Students po should be encouraged to learn from their mistakes. This problem-based learning actually work? Or what are the advantages or benefits of problem-based learning? Research shows that students first and foremost learn to work in a group. Group can help students create learning communities, which help them feel comfortable in creating new ideas, improves communication and interpersonal skills, stimulates task involvement, helps students manage group dynamics, and motivates students because they are all a part of the solution and each is accountable for his own. Research also shows that PPL enhances long-term memory due to group work. Students improve their problem-solving skills. Instead of recalling information and facts, they learn to build connections between these facts and are able to apply them to multiple scenarios. Once students are part of problem-based learning, they will be enthusiastic and reporting about their work and enjoying working with other students because of the controversial discussion that arise. They will also report understanding the subject better after being able to integrate it, as well as having higher self-esteem and self-confidence. Yan po, napakarami po nang binanggit ko na advantages or benefits ng problem-based learning. And lastly po, hindi mawawala ang some disadvantages or this. Pero po, dahil nga po sabi ko na na marami pong benefits, mas lamang po ang advantages or benefits. Ito po ang dalawang disadvantages ng problem-based learning. If 
the students are pessimistic, they feel that the problem is too difficult to be solved. And not all teachers can become good facilitators. They need both to be dedicated and be trained in problem-based learning. That's it for me. Benjamin Franklin once said, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. Dear teachers, what are you waiting for? You can try it for, for yourself. You have nothing to lose, but so much to gain. Thank you for, for listening. Thank you so much, Ma'am Daisy. So we have uh, some more time for question and answer. There are, uh, I think, a couple of questions that were raised in the chat room. So first of all, from um, Lisa Puri. So according to Ma'am, a question punya is, where does critical thinking come in in the process? Uh, critical thinking po is very much present in the group dynamics because the students po are asking questions, having discussions with each other. They are collaboratively discussing within the group. So they are thinking critically of the possible solutions or out outcomes to the problem that they have for. That's it. Okay, I think that's, uh, that, I think I agree to that, Mama, no? because we are trying to teach our students how to think right? using problem-based learning. Right? Okay. To think creatively and solve problems critically. Okay, nga sabi mo nga kanina, no? thinking out of the box. Yes, po. Okay. So, uh, siguro it also promotes divergent thinking, ano? O yung uh, pagkakaiba-iba ng uh, pananaw. No? At uh, talaga oh, sir. Nga, promote nga ito. Kasi nga, hindi lang tulad nyo sa isang issue, hindi lamang isa lang ang tama na perspective. No? Maaaring tama ka base doon sa iyo na evidence o yung mga government o yung mga pinangahawakan mo na beliefs sa sarili mo. Like for example, if we will be choosing uh, yung hottest topic nowadays, which is the anti-terror bill, diba? So uh, we can probably, paano yun ma'am? Halimbawa, oh, kung ikaw ay isang social studies teacher, okay, what is a more, what is a practical approach to teach the students to think creatively and intuitively using problem-based learning? Halimbawa, ang topic mo ay yung anti-terror bill. Anong gagawin mo? you let them do role playing, group discussion, debate, yun ba? Pwede bang gagitin po yun? Yes, sir. Actually po, sir, ang naisip ko is to have a debate. Uh, the class will be divided into two groups, the pros and the cons. Then the cons will uh, investigate or research on the advantages or benefits mm -hmm. of anti-terror bill. Then, the, uh, yun naman po nasa cons, yun naman po ang uh, mag-discuss ng mga disadvantages and mga ill effects of anti-terror bill. So, pros and cons po. Yung pros, yung pong mga advantages. Yung cons, yung mga negative side naman po. Baka naman po magtampo yung ibang subject kaya sa AP lang ba kaya pwede ito? How about sa science po? How about sa math? How about sa English, Filipino? At iba pa mga subject kaya? Even sa tech book, sa Michi, pwede rin ba nila pong magamit? Opo, sir. Actually po, sir, sa lahat na po ito ng subjects ginagamit. Kasi po, most of the time in PPL, the teacher will organize a groupings. And each group will have different problems po. For example po sa English, kung ang subject po nila ay speech, it's uh, uh, bawat group po, they are going to have their own theme or topic. Then they are going to develop the topic. May kanya-kanya pong role ang learner sa bawat group. For example po sa English, 
meron pong magdi-develop ng topic, magre-research sa internet or sa library ng mga uh, information na kailangan nila para ma-develop po nila ang topic. For example po is the importance of communication as a student. Kung ano po ang importance ng communication. Simple lang po yan na example. Okay, thank you ma'am. So for other questions, kailangan daw po ba yung topic, uh, yung problem ay broad? Uh, oh. Is the uh, the more broad the problem, the better? Hindi daw po ba dapat mas specific at mas simple po so that students may attempt to solve an issue? Uh, actually po, sa, uh, sa PPL, the more the general or broad the problem, the better po. Kasi po, doon po lumalabas ang uh, different ways or different paths or ways of finding the solution to the problem. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So, another question is, ano po sa palagay ninyo ang maari maging problema ng mga estudyante natin? sa so the new normal siguro using the PBL strategy siguro ito ang ibig na sabihin ni Sir Apple. Ah yes sir po kasi po sa new normal uh, ang modalities po natin ay nagki-cater lang uh, feasible po siya for individual learning strategy and PBL po caters to groupings. Maybe po Halimbawa, sa group chat po natin sa Messenger, pwede rin nating mag-create tayo ng groupings. Then, per group, meron pong naka-assign na problem or topic po. Okay. I agree with you. Kasi even po sa Zoom o kaya sa Opo. Google Meet at saka sa mga iba pang mga learning platforms o meeting platforms, meron po tayong tinatawag na breakout rooms. Opo, so break install nyo rooms. lang po yan at saka yung katulad ng ginawa natin during one of our staff meeting, natatandaan nyo ba yon Na kung saan pwede maggrupo-grupo yung mga bata at uh, doon sila mag-discuss, doon sila mag-debate, doon sila mag-list ng kanila mga analysis into certain issues and then afterwards para mag-report din po sila doon. So actually possible po 'yan. Yung po sa mga nagtanong na to. Also the same question from Sir Bernie Villanueva. I think that's also possible to do using itong ating mga technology. Yun nga lang sir, kailangan talaga magdodoble oras tayo sa pag-aaral kung paano din po ito gagawin. But uh, uh, with the advent of technology nowadays, anything is possible na rin po. Okay? So meron pa po ba tayo mga ibang questions so far? Uh, sige po, kung wala na. Ma'am, uh, do you have any uh, final uh, statements regarding the problem-based learning po? Uh, siguro po, sir, mag share ko lang po ang aking parting words or newly established tagline. Ito po. God helps those who help themselves and do your best and God will do the rest. Thank you very much po. Okay, I very much agree with you, ma'am. So, okay, so thank you po sa atin pong uh, speaker for this morning, Engineer Daisy Orsine. Salamat po, ma'am, sa lahat na oras na ginugol niyo po sa pag-prepare at sa pag-share po ng inyong kaalaman sa topic natin na problem-based learning. Maraming salamat po. And just uh, for any other announcement, you may now go ahead, ma'am, and close your screen sharing. And yung video na rin po. Malami pong salamat. Okay. So, doon po sa isang question dito na nagtanong si Sir Ryan. Sir, uh, regarding sa June 12 holiday, kung magta-time in or out po po kayo, hindi na po kasi holiday naman po yun. So, hindi na po kayo kailang mag-time in and time out on June 12 because it's a holiday. So, that's the same. Uh, kung tayo po ay uh, Saturday, Sunday or any other local or national holiday. So maraming salamat po sa pag-clarify ng question. Okay, so thank you once again to everyone, to everybody, to everyone. And again, thank you so much, Engineer Daisy Orsini. Congratulations for a job well done. At next po natin na nakaschedule po sa ating uh, series of webinars for the first batch. Okay. 
Ang ibig sabihin, meron pa tayong susunod na batch na mga magsiseminar starting po ng ating July ay meron po tayong another set of master teachers na makakatulong po sa atin. So, if I'm not mistaken, ang ating pong next speaker ay si Mr. Maynard Alvarez who will be talking about the difference between asynchronous and synchronous learning. So, uh, for the meantime, the same schedule, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. unless na magkaroon po ng conflict sa ating mga schedules. Okay? So, God bless everyone and I hope everybody keeps safe. And uh, always po, makibalita po tayo sa mga updates kasi, you know, every day, uh, every hour may, nag, may, nag, may bagong mga information na lumalabas. So, it's really based that we are updated in all things that relates to our work. Okay, so God bless everyone. Keep safe and uh, please take care, everybody. Goodbye.